Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're taking a look at Passware. Passware is a Windows utility that allows you to recover passwords via secured files, whether they're iTunes backups, WPA or WPA2 Wi-Fi connections, iOS keychains, and much more. It even allows you to get things like Windows administrator passwords decrypted so that you can reset and gain access to an account. It can find, decrypt, and open secured files that are located on a hard drive. So if you have any encrypted files somewhere and you need to get access to them, whether you're on a business end, for example, let's say you're a forensic investigator, or on a personal note, maybe you need access to a work file or a personal file that is encrypted and you need to regain access to it, Password can do all of that with its intelligent detection and fast processing. Password supports over 280 different file types. So whether they are for, you know, recovering passwords for websites, Windows applications, you know, even Mac documents are supported here. It supports a ton of different formats, PDF, JBC, DAT files. Basically, if there's a file that you need to get into, most likely Password supports it. So here we are looking at Password. As you can see, one of the main features is the ability to recover a password for a file, as you can see here. So you just click on this, and then it's going to go ahead and show you files that you can try to recover passwords for. So if you have some sort of password protected file that you're trying to access, in this case, I'm going to use one of the sample files here. So they provide this Excel document here. And you're going to see right off the bat, it shows the location of the file. It shows the protection type. So you can see it's an open password, but it's RC. This is just 40 bit encryption and the complexity um, using something like a brute force attack uh, or a rainbow table attack, it is possible to get in and get the password. So you have a couple options from here. You can choose to run the wizard, which is an easy step-by-step -step set of password recovery if you know anything about the password. If not, you can go ahead and use predefined settings, which uses default attacks to recover the password, or you can set up manually to recover your password. So these are more advanced tactics. So for example, you can add things like dictionary attacks where it goes through and searches the most common words in the dictionary. You can choose a brute force attack. You can use previous passwords and then I'll search things related to that. So you would just choose the type of attack here and you would simply just drag it into the list here. And you can see it actually tells you more details about the type of attack you're clicking on here and I'll tell you more about the complexity. So you have things like modifiers by changing casing, combined attacks, rainbow table attacks. So this is more advanced. If you have some sort of knowledge and you also want to kind of try multiple methods at once, then you definitely want to go into the advanced tactic and then just kind of drag the attacks that you want in, fill out the information, and then have it run that recovery process. Now, if not, if you don't want to go ahead and do this, uh, keep in mind you can always come back to this or you can save your attack for future, you know, if you want to set up your own kind of uh, preset and then have that custom attack be used against other passwords in the future, you can easily do that here by saving the attack and then loading it. Um, but again, if you don't want to do that, then you can go ahead and go with the predefined settings. I'm going to go ahead and do that here. So it's going to use the predefined settings and you can see just like that, this is just a 40-bit one, it says the file open password is open, no brackets, you can see here. Uh, and then I can copy the password to clipboard. Uh, you can see I can do a file modify password and it has it here. Again, it just makes it simple here. I can copy the password now. And then now if I want to go ahead and open that file, so if I just click on this location here and go to open this Excel file here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Excel file. And then once it opens here, you can see I have the option to put in the password. I'm going to go ahead and paste the password here. And just like that, you can see I was able to get into the Excel file that simple, that easy, just by copying that password, that password was able to get me access to. So that's just one example of a way it used a predefined attack to recover the password. Now you have a lot of other options too. So for example, let's say you want to scan a computer to see if it had any encrypted files on it that were worth cracking, for example. Well, I can go into find encrypted files here, and I already have a file that I downloaded earlier as a sample, so I'm going to have it directly go to my downloads folder. You can have it scan other parts of your computer as needed, and I'm going to hit search. And then from here, it's going to start scanning. You can see it instantly found this PDF example that I had here that is encrypted, and then from there, it's going to tell me scan complete, and it's going to give me the file that it found here. So I have now the option to try to recover the password here, and that would take me through that same process here. So again, no password is set. Uh, the password permission password is now removed. So I now have access to this file, and I can clearly see that this was encrypted. But now I have access to it, and it gives me the direction directory which I can access it here. And again, that simple, that easy. Um, 
instant on protection just required some file patching to get into it so really really easy really simple there again really great way to go to a computer and then start scanning it to instantly find out if there's any files that may be being protected and if you want to get into them you know it's easy to find it with just a quick scan now beyond that password supports a lot of other cool features things like the ability to get email passwords back from outlook accounts internet passwords from websites if you have any of those saved if you have network connections you have the ability to kind of recover password for network connections so that can mean things like wi-fi uh, wpa connections wpa2 uh, remote desktop connection passwords can also be stored if you have or uh, restored if you have the rdp file so that's another option as well um, and then going back you also have the ability to create a windows administrator password so you can actually reset that by creating a new image here um, this creates a password and resets the CD or USB image. And this is really, really top level stuff. If you get locked out of an admin account on Windows uh, desktop, or you just need access to an admin account on the Windows desktop, you can go through this whole process. You can choose to set a password on the USB or CD disk that you create. You can add drivers. So again, this will allow you to create a um, completely you know, new image of Windows and or if you already have one, you can go ahead and put it in here and then use this whole process to go ahead and reset um, the, you know, the password here. So I'd make a password reset image from a specific, you know, uh, file location here. And I would hit next. I would go through the whole process here and I would make a uh, custom image in a sense to reset that admin password so again really high level stuff there if you need access to that um, but you can see how simple and easy it is to use as far as the interface goes for something that's so complex and has a lot of features packed into it it is really really simple and easy to use interface all right so that said don't forget to click on the link down below to find out more information about password keeping in mind while this is windows only it does support password file formats for things in the mac like filemaker office quickbooks so on and so forth and if you have something like parallels or uh, a virtual pc you can easily use that within the mac environment as well so again if you want to try this out and demo it be sure to check out the features you can see a lot of the stuff it supports here and again for example there are 130 plus file types it supports uh, that you can go ahead and recover through things like brute force or instant recovery so we're talking about acrobat files filemaker files like i mentioned ms access other ms applications here um, and just scrolling down, you can see the long list of files that it supports that you can easily get access to through some sort of recovery method using Passware. And if you head over to the link again down below, you can check out the Passware kit editions where you can compare features amongst each other. So if you can choose which one works best for you in terms of the uh, edition that you're going to need, whether it's standard, standard plus, the business or forensic edition, depending on how high level you need access to. So if we're talking like full disk encryption, mobile forensics, and more. And don't forget, using our link down below, there is a special discount on the standard version. That is a three-pack, so you get to save $38 for a three-pack. Or if you want to upgrade to the five-pack, you'll save up to $180 in that link down below. Of course, all of your purchases are protected by HTTPS protocol and a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk on your part. So if you're looking to find a tool that recovers passwords and that you can use at a much higher level, whether it's in a forensic setting and business setting, or just to recover and detect encrypted files, then look no further than Passware. Thanks for watching.